Today we're going to look at creating a custom shape with Telerix RAD diagrams. RAD diagrams is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we will create a custom shape to use with RAD diagrams in Visual Studio 2010. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we're working with the same project that we've been working with in this series. So we have a couple of references here. I'm going to go over again to use the RAD diagram control. We have Telerik.windows.controls, Telerik.windows.controls.diagrams, and then Telerik.windows.diagrams.core. I've already added a couple of things in this project. Uh, we've added the RAD diagram. We have added in the functionality to allow copy and pasting, deleting and cutting of elements in the RAD diagram. And then we've added in some data here. So we have a RAD diagram shape, we have set the content, and then we've set the position. We've also set up a couple of RAD diagram connections, which you see here in the designer window. And we've added a couple of buttons down at the very bottom here to actually set the mode that our diagram is going to be using from connector to pan tool to pointer tool. And if you would like to see any of these more in depth then check out the first two parts of the video. So if we run this application and we just go ahead and select pan tool and we pan our items back out you can see that we have uh, about seven diagrams here, but the only thing about them is that they're all using this same uh, shape here, the same rectangle. So one of the things that uh, a lot of people would like to use would be able to use their own shapes. So I already have a shape uh, that I built using expression blend that I'm going to add into this project and show you just how easy it is to add in your own custom shapes. So let's go ahead and let's close out of this window. And I'm going to just come up here just a little bit and underneath diagram one, I'm just going to hit a return and I'm going to paste in some XAML. So the reason that Visual Studio is complaining here is because we have carriage return line feeds in this data. I'm just going to go ahead and clean those up real quick. And now that I've done that, we're back to where we need to be. So the only difference here is that we have this property called geometry. And I've added in actual path data. And as you see here, the path data it's pretty long. Uh, it is auto-generated through expression blend. There's a lot of tools that will generate images to path data um, for you and you can simply paste it into the geometry. We also have a content setup and we have a position. And you can see um, from the designer window right here, if we zoom in just a little bit, that it is a different shape. It is of a heart. So let's look at this a little bit closer. If we go debug, start without debugging, and let's just go ahead and let's select our pan tool, then you'll see our diagram is listed here. So we have a heart shape. So that is a custom element that was added just by the path. And like I said, if you wanted to create your own we could just close out of this window and fire open expression blend. And we could use the pencil tool here and maybe add in this heart. And my drawing's not so great here. And we could select our paths and then take a combine unite and flip back over and we could see our path data has actually been generated for us. So please come back and join me for the next two parts in the series, which is customizing the look and feel and using the RAD ribbon bar with RAD diagram. 
As always, tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.